Hello guys, welcome to our daily stock market insights. This is Miss JD for another episode. Today is December 9th, 2020, a few hours before the market opens. And uh, in today's episode, I am going to review the most trending stocks um, in the market so that we are all prepared before the market opens later at 9 30 in the morning. In the meantime, if this is your first time to watch our video, um, I'm inviting you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. And by the way, thank you guys uh, for those people who dropped a comment and showed their appreciation in what we do here and what I do here. Um, thank you very much. You have inspired me to continue whatever I'm doing because I know I have people uh, supporting the channel and uh, I have viewers and listeners who find value in what we do here. Okay, so before I get started, I'd like to talk about the index first and then we hop into uh, the individual stocks. Okay, so for um, our index, as you can see, I've already plotted uh, some lines here. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, ended the day last Monday with a green candlestick, as you can see. However, I'd just like to remind everyone that we are already in the short-term um, perspective. We have already reached a uh, possible resistance here, uh, as you can see, and it touched the same level twice. Um, however, our uh, RSI is uh, showing a much lower point here. Um, as we reach the same level. So uh, just be extra careful. Um, two things, we have two possibilities at this point. One is we could possibly start much higher than 7,200 level and move, uh, um, push the price even higher. Um, or we could retrace first and rest for a while before we could take off again. And the next uh, possible drop in that case is uh, the uh, MA20 line. Okay, so we are already halfway there, guys, um, in uh, the price level of, uh, pre pandemic time. Okay, so we actually we were already starting to decline at that time, so this is already a pre pandemic uh, price level. So let us see if we are going to still have some more bullish movements uh, in our performance. But it's really worth uh, reviewing each one uh, to really find out if uh, the technicals are already looking healthier. Now, um, guys, by the way, uh, just a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I do this as a hobby. I like to read charts and uh, I like to do technical analysis. Uh, so uh, my reminder to you is always... Um, invest time in reading the news, reading the financials of the company you want to engage in and uh, because because that will tell you if uh, the stock is good to, to invest in and uh, the technicals on the other hand will tell you when to get in, okay? So please do your assignment. Um, my <clears throat> objective here is just, I could just be a second voice that could uh, possibly validate what you already have studied on and uh, at least, you know, an added resource, but definitely please do your assignment. Now, uh, our index. So this is um, my outlook for the index and uh, let's see if it is going to do a breakout or it will go down to the MA20 level. So what's important is you now know what are the key levels that we're looking at um, in the current setup, okay? Now, let's start with Dito. Dito, as you can see, we had a breakout, and um, for long-term investors, this is still a very healthy level uh, because of the fact that we are anticipating something big to happen in the first quarter of the year, and, the, of course, what's going to happen after that is really very promising. Uh, we now have a third telco, and they have so much um, offerings for us, uh, better and faster service. So a lot of people will definitely be uh, interested in um, uh, availing their services. So that's what we are banking on, being long-term investors. So 
FYI, I'm also in a position here and uh, my average is, I already showed my port. If you can just check out my video uh, the other week, I think I showed uh, my average here is around 500, uh, no, five pesos and 90 or 598 around that level so i'm still holding on to my position i also had several uh, uh profit taking and uh, level or profit taking um <clears throat> uh transactions there so i did some <laughs> what's interesting here so i i took profit here when i have noticed some signs of weakness on a faster time frame and uh, I was able to uh, um, take profit at this level and then it dipped and then added a few more here um, and a few more here. So it, it brought us to a five point something uh, average at least, uh, but uh, uh, we were also able to lock in some profit there. But I already have a, a good amount of volume um, invested here, so I don't have plans in adding some more so i'm already good so that my uh, portfolio is well diversified and uh, we're just waiting for this uh, stock to mature mature some more and hopefully in the future let's see when i'm happy with my profit and then i can probably get some and then have the the rest uh, ride the wave long term all right ict as for ict let's take a look um, ICT here is okay this also looks interesting because uh, when it dropped right here it just retested the previous support and it managed to bounce and when it recovered uh, when it dropped second time around we now have a higher low and uh, we have a solid green um, on our last day's performance which was last uh, Monday and what I'm thinking is we might have a continuation given that we have some foreign buying, good volume. So uh, we have some uh, good facts to back it up. So I'm thinking we might see some continuation to happen um, later today. So just bear in mind that short term wise, we are also approaching a possible area of resistance right at this level notice. Each time this level is hit, there was a rejection that was happening right there. So let's see. Hopefully, you guys have already entered and are just waiting for, uh, for a level where you can take profit. And I can say, at this point, given that we have already um, increased the price um, since March with slight fluctuations, um, Consider also locking in some profit the moment you also see a repeat of this scenario. You have some red candlesticks forming at the resistance level. So those are your signs of weakness. And by that time, I recommend you lock in some profit. BPI, okay. This for me, even though we had a, a slight increase or we ended slightly higher than the ME20 line, I would have to say that this is for me... Uh, a sign of rejection at the MA20 level. Uh, consider al also bear in mind that when we start moving below the MA20 line and then we recover and we see rejection happening, this simply means that your MA20 is currently acting as a resistance at this point. Looks like this is already trying to build a downtrend channel right here. Okay, so. We'll let us see if it is going to just go drop and go back to this level and create a, a descending triangle um, and bounce probably here. If this gets broken, chances are it will create some um, lower lows. And for me, at this point, I can right away see uh, your lower low could uh, probably drop at this level. See that over here? This could be your lower low, right? So we have to be uh, mindful the moment it drops, but definitely I see another drop by uh, later today. Uh, we just do not know if it is going to touch this level or could continue bouncing. But if, okay, if it drops here, check if it is going to bounce, then good. Um, another possibility is this is your downtrend channel. 
if we break out of that downtrend channel, uh, down, downward um, trending resistance, then that simply means you had a breakout of that downtrend channel. Okay, um, but if it drops again, then it's a confirmation that indeed we have a downtrend because this is your lower high. When it drops and breaks um, the support, then it will create a lower low. So those are your, my uh, two sets for BPI. JGS as well, um, not, mm -hmm, not so uh, convinced with what I'm seeing right here. So this is your resistance previously, right? It was also retested right there and uh, there was a rejection right off the bat and uh, some more declines that happened right here. Uh, I would have to say, uh, I think we could, we might have some more red uh, candlesticks in the coming days. And 65, 63 will be your next stop. See that this used to be your resistance right here, support over here. So if we drop, we could just revisit that key level and then bounce again, right? So, well, this is also promising for long-term investors, knowing the fact that you have some foreign buying that happened right there. Um, duplicate. J, I just want to check the details. How many days have we had some foreign buying? Okay, so that's a significant uh, amount. So let us see if it is just going to give us a long wick, but definitely I see it. Um, I see the next possible support right at this area. So uh, you can be a little patient as uh, the price go down. Probably you can haggle the nearer you are to 65, 63, the better. Uh, as I feel that uh, this is already starting to look uh, positive here given that we have a foreign buying but chart says it could decline okay it could possibly uh, decline uh so try to haggle between 65 63 and 71. bdo okay so another stock uh that is in my portfolio and uh i was able to establish some good base over here uh although short term wise you had a, we have a resistance at this level. We also have, yeah, I'd like to treat this as a resistance area. I think we can still have uh, some more movement uh, to the upside. So we were really looking forward for it to break the 113 level, but definitely uh, we don't live by hope here. We want to see facts. So I... What I see happening at the moment is it will continue to move higher and uh, we are going to uh, observe if uh, it is going to give us some uh, rejection right over here. Probably a red candlestick that will be formed here. If it gives us that, um, then I could uh, trim down my uh, size for BDO and then if it drops some more and then I can just use my buying power to buy it back at a much cheaper price. I know it will slightly increase my my average right there but at least I was able to lock in some profit. Overall uh, majority of uh, my share there I'd like to wait a little longer because we are still looking really really healthy in our chart. At least you know, I was mentioning this in my other videos. Um, so I don't really mind getting into a stock that takes a little while before it recovers. I don't really mind staying there, provided that is a stock that gives out dividend. So in this case, well, in, in the Philippines, the dividend of... Uh, payouts for or dividend yield for our stocks are really, really low. But in the U.S. market, I have uh, several stocks that I've uh, entered into for several months now. I've been receiving dividend. While it's true that the movement is quite slow, at least uh, it's a green at the moment, like this one, my size or my position is green. 
but progress wise it's taking a little while at least no um, I'm still receiving some um, form of compensation uh, regularly so I think if you want that kind of strategy you can also apply that at least that's a little bit conservative well that's because my profile I'm working I do not have the time to watch the market full time and time the market and uh, with me just buying in uh, levels where I feel it's a good position even if it takes time to mature I'm already receiving some form of compensation there through the dividend so two requirements that I, I'm now using uh, it has to be good position and uh, I'm also very particular with dividend that's the strategy I'm also using in the US market so if you want to create an account in eToro I am uh, Julie Lax in eToro you can already copy me if you want that kind of strategy okay <clears throat> Ayala we also are sitting at a possible resistance here see that hit twice but your RSI is already showing some uh, declining momentum so I will not be surprised if uh, this stock is also going to give us some uh, uh, some time to rest but in the event okay we can never tell if uh, this price probably starts higher than 40 peso area by uh, later today then we have a breakout play and uh, the potential still a lot of potential right here because we are also halfway on our uh, road to recovery so if I am to go back now this was the price level a few days before the lockdown happened so we're already back at its um, <clears throat> almost normal uh, price level so just uh, bear in mind those two possibilities SMPH also very near a resistance oh my gosh there almost uh, near the the resistance level so um, you can wait for it to break out and enter if you'd like to do a uh, momentum trading or wait for it to pull back first and uh, re-enter if you want it could stabilize around the uh, ma20 line but if it drops some more i think it's going to be a little deep if it is uh, i see around this key level let me see first maybe we have some i'll do a weekly chart okay if it is going to drop i see this nope i see this area 34 something there 34 29 so that's the next possible drop it's a little bit uh, really low if it breaks the ma20 line okay resistance and support 39 29 for for your resistance and 34 uh, 29 for your support let's take a look at my my hmm we even had a gap down that happened here did we have any news? Hmm. Did we have some foreign buying or uh, insider buying? Oh, there. See this guy? Securities acquired. That means someone bought. The um, CFO or Chief Financial Officer of MY. Ramon Diaz uh, purchased or acquired some more shares so when we have some insider buying that's happening uh, in a company that's a good sign that means one they feel that the price level is already very cheap and they know the potential of the company so I'm thinking um, even if it's slightly dropped here uh, below the MA20 line I'm I feel that this stock uh, is already looking uh, attractive for me 
I think that's a this is a good price level if you want to um, accumulate volume. Oh, there's also a dividend. 0.12. See the dividend yield is really low in in the Philippine market. You'd be surprised, guys, in the U.S. market. On there are so many stocks with an average of eight, seven percent, ten percent per year. There are even stocks that give out a monthly dividend. So I'm really, um, I'm really super interested right now with stocks that do have good setup and that do give out dividend. So those are my perfect match, perfect setup right now. Um, so this one, I, I see a support at the 843. In fact, uh, I'm going to monitor this stock. I really am. If I'm not mistaken, I also mentioned this in my last video that I'm really betting on MY. Uh, good thing that it dropped a little, it dropped by a few cents, so we could enter at a much better price level. So uh, I'm going to watch this. Hopefully, I could enter at around 8.43 later today. Um, yeah, I'll just put a an order at that level. If it drops, then I could just add some more because I think this price level is already the bottom uh, of the stock. This was... Uh, the way it's forming right now is really, really close to how BDO was the previous months. See that? It was looking like this. So I think it's trying to create that letter U. And uh, it already actually did, but uh, it dropped. And uh, I think it's just going to stabilize. Interesting. Volume as well. Look at that. Increase in the volume. Okay. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to update you guys if I was able to uh, enter in this stock. But definitely, I want to post an order at around 8.40. 8.45 would be fine. MBT. Oh. I'd say... Well, our nearest resistance is at this point. 53.35. Or 5363. Your um, RSI is also slightly lower while the price was moving higher. So, what could that be? Um, that means, see this? That means our momentum could also, you know, it's starting to decline. So, I think um, for me, I'd say. If you want to trade this, I think this, for me, just for me, it's not a, a good setup. But if you're a long-term investor, uh, that's fine. You can still enter because there's still a lot of potential for this stock to move higher. So you can probably do test buys here. And then when it declines, just add more volume. Uh, so you have more shares there. And uh, it, also it also gives... Uh, dividend so at least you have some form of compensation if it takes a while before it really takes off so that's one thing you can uh, look forward to overall if um, I am to trade this I'd wait for a pullback uh, before I want I can get in but I already have uh, a bank in my portfolio so I think uh, I'll stay away from this so that I'm well diversified uh, I already have a bank, so I'm already good in the financial sector. Uh, MY for me is my next bet, so I'd see. I'll see. JFC, okay. JFC continued to move higher. Um, for momentum traders who may have entered somewhere um, higher than 299, that means, let's say you were able to. I mean 199 so if you're able to enter around 200 for instance you already have gained around 3.70 percent i can still see some more bullish movements for the stock because as you notice we have declined significantly after um january of 2019 so if you would like to engage my two cents here trading wise not for position traders anymore <clears throat> but if you're a long-term investor for JFC, still, it's okay to buy. Just buy the dips. The closer you are to the 200 level, the better. Um, 
but a lot of you, I'm sure, you have JFC in your in your portfolio because you want to stay in it longer. So those are my two cents. Long-term investors, just carry on, add whenever you have the chance. But for um, uh, traders, probably wait for a pullback. The nearer you are to the 200 level, the better. Tell, tell is still declining. Uh, we don't like that uh, four days in a row, we are already moving downwards lower than the ME20 line. So I think the sentiment is uh, in detail. A lot of uh, the people are getting positions in detail. AC, AC, we are also sitting at a resistance level. So let me see. We had some foreign selling that happened. We might have some more declines. 346. Mm, interesting, but not much because we're sitting at 866. And what is 346? June, July, August, September. This is, it's not even quarterly. It's fine. Well, look at that. Halfway, I think we're just, uh, we're already 75% in our bounds. So we could probably have, how, how much is our potential right here? Around 25%, yeah. So hopefully you were able to get enter right here and you're already a profitable. And if you just see some signs of weakness right here, uh, consider locking in some profit. For me, I personally, I already see this as a sign of weakness, this red candlestick right there. Um, that, that for me is already a sign of weakness. Let's take a look at SM. SM no volume. Small volume. Okay. There's a resistance here. Also very near a resistance, guys. As you can see. So for, oh no, also very near. I really find this already expensive, but of course, SM is SM. Um, this is a growth uh, stock. It's, it's already a blue chip company, but the, the growth potential is still humongous for this uh, uh, company. So many, many uh, uh, great projects, right? They could, because uh, they're so huge that they could engage in so many projects. So... I think uh, even though we are at the resistance level for long-term investors, uh, that's fine. You can still enter, but uh, personally, my take on this is uh, I find it already expensive because we are very near the uh, resistance levels. This is the all-time high, if I'm not mistaken, and we're very close to that already. So maybe let's wait for it to drop first and then uh, haggle for a few pesos and uh, enter. So nothing to rush if uh, you're just uh, merely uh, trying to shop for the best stock for you. <laughs> so I'd say maybe wait for it to drop around the 970 area uh, before you can enter. At least you could haggle for a few, few pesos. Okay, wow. We were able to review a lot. So I think that is uh wait let me just check out my stocks double dragon double dragon very good progress right here so where did we stop sm right sm and double dragon okay i have double dragon so this is a good lift in the price that was a two percent increase in just a day so that's good and uh, I really see a lot of uh, potentials here. The volume also slightly increased, so good. I'm, I'm thinking we will have some more bullish movements in the coming days. Look at that. Look how much it dropped before. Uh, and I think we have already reached the bottom. Um, I don't really think it is going to reach a 7 peso level again. It's like a reset of the price. But just in case, we're not very uh, far from that price level so I can just uh, add more volume because I just feel like if it is indeed going to drop to the 7 peso area which is far from happening at the moment 
um, <clears throat> our entry is already uh, considered to be very cheap. So a lot of things to look forward to in my position here. Um, tag 674, trying to retest our MA20 line here. So let us see if it is going to bounce. Um, so far, well, my average here is also very attractive. Uh, like BDO, I uh, tried to accumulate while we were right here. So I'm plotting my support at the MA20 line and let us see if it is going to bounce. 661 is our support at the moment for this stock. All right. So I think that is it for tonight. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you were able to get some pointers in uh, our discussion today. Now, if you'd like to uh, support Miss JD, please hit the like so that uh, YouTube will discover our channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, I'm inviting you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, by the way, guys, I'd like to take advantage of this opportunity. I am in Patreon. So if you also want to show your support, uh, you can join me there. I am in eToro, so I have a referral link. If you'd like to start trading the U.S. market, you can use my link. And I think that is it for tonight, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.